Hello and a very good morning to you. This is Talk TV and it's Petri here with you until four o'clock. Coming up at three, we delve into the newspapers. No surprises uh, for guessing what's in those uh, going through the day today. I'm sure Boris Johnson will not be wanting to read them. Um, anyway, I thought we would have a bit of a laugh now and uh, and uh, the following gentleman is providing uh, just that uh, for us. His name is Randy. Uh, Randy Feltface. Uh, and uh, he is, I'm not going to call him a, a puppet. I mean, I haven't even met him yet. Randy, good morning. Good morning, Petri. How are you? You're not a puppet, are you? You're a person. Well, I mean, you know, the P word gets thrown around a bit. I'm not too sensitive about it. You can call me whatever you like at this hour of the morning. How are you? This is I'm exciting. Good. It's so nice to be joining you here. I'm so excited to, to meet you. I know we were supposed to be talking to you um, last month, but you've got co How do you get COVID? How did you, how did you get that? I'm essentially just like a giant sponge, so ah. anything will stick to me. And the <laughs> virus finally got me right in the face. So yeah, I um I had a weird a weird couple of weeks there. It really uh, knocked me out. So thank you for your patience. It's nice to be here. If I start to feel faint, I'm just gonna lay down on this these Airbnb cushions. This is an Airbnb. It's like a like some sort of weird harem situation. I've it's got very going on. it's very smart. I, nobody told you me that you were going to be quite as as handsome as you are. So it's a it's a real pleasure to meet you. Well, that's very kind. Nobody told me of your magical beauty either, <laughs> Petrie. So here we are together, surprised, <laughs> shocked, astounded at the mutual attraction. I Absolutely. can feel the chemistry. I can feel globally. it too. Now, listen, Randy, you are. Um, uh, 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 obviously uh, Australian. You look Australian. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt yeah. about that. Um, no, and you look like a lot of exposure to the sunlight yeah. down there is what's yeah. done this to it's my face. It's the UV, face. isn't yeah. it? Um, mm -hmm. And you're in the in the US. What are you doing in the US? I'm touring at the moment. I've been touring here for almost six months, working on my material, getting it all ready for uh, for my onslaught of the United Kingdom, where I'm heading very very soon. So how has the tour gone? Is it uh, how, how have they taken to you? Have they have they obviously loved you? Have they? Oh look, I love it here. America's the greatest country in the world for comedy. For comedy <laughs> for everything else, it's not going so well at the moment. But the comedy scene here is great. They do like me. I've had some interesting times. I was in Indianapolis, Indiana. Wow. So good they named it one and a half times and I managed to make it out of there alive. So I feel like I can perform anywhere now. Yeah, it's America needs a laugh right now, doesn't it? Uh, a, a, an actual proper laugh as opposed to the rest of the world looking at them aghast. Yeah, it's not great. But you know what? There is a lot of beautiful people here and there's a lot of positivity in amongst the chaos. So, you know, I feel like if I can contribute to that positivity, then it's worth me being here. Otherwise, I'm just going to take the money and run and get back to the UK because I haven't, I haven't done. I'm doing Edinburgh Fringe, obviously. I haven't been there for six years, wow. so that's going to be weird. What What yeah, do you like yeah. about about the Fringe? I, I I went to the Fringe. Uh, I've been to the Fringe a couple of times, not as a performer, clearly, but mm. um, I, I um, it, it is absolutely brilliant. But it's exhausting. It is it is absolutely exhausting. You really need to pace yourself, particularly if you're performing, because you do a show every night of the week. Most people take one night off during the festival, and uh, it's punishing. But I think the um, the collective energy, that collective consciousness of all of those performers in the one place, if you can somehow harness that energy and you can ride it all the way to the end, I think generally there's a big slump in the middle, and then in the final week, I'm always ready to go another two months. And do like, you... I don't want it to end. <laughs> do, you, do you spend the rest of the time when you're not performing watching other performances? No, I mostly spend it doing this. <laughs> that's Just how... passed out. That's how I'd like the... to spend most of my life, to be fair. Just in a pool of my own failure. Just thinking, oh my God, what was what was I thinking? What have I done with my life? No, I do like to go and see other shows. There are some amazing shows at the Fringe this year as well, which I'm very much looking forward to. Are you going to come down and do a show this year? Petri, get on board. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of tap dancing, perhaps. Uh, may, may, maybe not, but I might come and see you. Um, is there no? I, I don't want to be. I don't. I don't want to be. Uh, you know, assume things. But are, is there no comedy on your own planet? 
on my own planet. Yeah. This is my planet. I've only ever lived on this one. But so. it's, you, your, your tour is called An Alien of Extraordinary Ability. Yes. I'm going to let you on on a little secret here. That yeah. is the title of the visa that I'm on in the United States ah. of America. It's an O-1 visa, right. subtitled Alien of Extraordinary Ability. And I'm just really leaving the where I was born, how I was born, the origin stories there. I, there is a bit of a reveal at the top of the show uh-huh. uh, that um, tracks my existence, my evolution throughout time. And this show is just basically about the fact that I'm a critically endangered species, Petri. There's only one of me left. Oh, no. I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not I came from another planet, but I, I only ever remember being on this one, so never... it's mysterious. So, do you know how how anything about yourself? Then, do you know how long you're going to live for? If you if you yourself can have babies, or you know it, what? Do you... I had a vasectomy, so oh, I'm not no. having any children at this point in my life. I've made the uh, the responsible decision. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, to not carry on the line of felt face, but I think I mean, do any of us know how long we're going to live, Petri? Is are we going to get into an existential <laughs> level of how long is life, and has this life been a life? Well yeah, but lived? you might be being a know. comedian for three hundred years. I mean, who, who knows? That'd be amazing. Oh wouldn't it? God, I hope not. <laughs> My God, if I'm still doing, if I haven't retired within a one hundred year period, seriously, just take me out, get me out of there. And I mean, you... it's a, what happens to a comedian who's been doing it for 300 years? It's just panel shows, just panel shows, game shows, comedy game shows. Yeah, but that's a lot of money in that. Is there? Yeah, well, I don't know. Is it money well earned? I guess it is. Can you hear the sirens outside? Yeah. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yes. New York City, baby. It's all happening. I love New York. I absolutely oh. love New York City. It's just got an energy like nowhere else. Amazing. That's very true. It is a remarkable place. I'm actually across in Brooklyn right now, so all it's right. even now, well, more listen, hectic out there. I've spent all uh, morning this morning uh, talking uh, about politics because that seems to be the biggest joke in town at the moment. Do you mm. find that? Do you do you do a lot of politics in your in your uh, set in uh, your act? I do more sort of global politics in terms of i mean i'm not a particularly political comedian i will take swipes and stuff or reference things i do like to read the papers and be be on top of what's going on but generally um my my shows are a bit more big question stuff like you know the species itself which i guess does tie into every political decision that's being made because it affects us on a daily basis but i'm on this trip at the moment of trying to trying to spread a bit of positivity and create a bit more of a um I don't know, unified kind of front. I feel like politics these days, it's very easy to just pick a side and then call the other side idiotic without yeah. ever having discourse. So I feel like we need to step back from cool, the politics that's deep. of it all. That was very deep. Well, is it? I mean, we're all just <laughs> creatures on the planet trying to get along. I feel like it's so easy to just go, I don't agree with one thing that you said, therefore I won't listen to any of the other bits. Yeah. And, what and makes... you do talk back. Yeah. How do you handle that oh my in gosh. this political climate? It, it must be an absolute nightmare. I mean, there are times when I do have to bite bite my tongue a bit. Um, mm. the, yeah, it's not it's not it's not easy. Um, what makes are you... there are there journalistic awards for diplomacy in the UK? There I feel should like be. The, I feel particularly with talkback. I feel like there should be the the diplomies yeah. every year. I like it. Let's suggest it. Will you host yeah, it? All right. You'd host it. Yeah, absolutely. I will be there at the diplomies. I'm into it. Yeah, I mean, you do. If you don't, you do look a little bit like a microphone, actually. And I, do. I mean that I with do. love. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I took it with love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, we can do this. I could be the trophy. Like you could. The Oscar. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like that. Right. I'd like that. All right, someone needs to be writing this down. <laughs> so what, workshopping it, Randy. Um, where where do you go for well, humour? What are you doing with your life, Randy? <laughs> yeah. Is that where you, were? Yeah. Randy? What uh, in God's name <laughs> are you doing? I wouldn't be so what rude. Would... Uh, what no. makes you laugh? Uh, who is your favourite comedian? Oh my God, there's so many. I can tell you who I'm looking forward to seeing at this year's. You know, actually, James Acaster always makes me laugh. Oh, I no love him. What, 
no matter what what that man does, Sarah I love Pascoe, him. I'm just going to reel off all my favourite yeah. UK comedians. Actually, this year, this festival, there's actually a few Australian comics that are coming over for the first time. Michelle Brazier, there's one to look out for. Okay. Um, oh gosh, I don't know. I like I like to laugh at um, you know. Uh, you know those monkeys that are like the snow monkeys that sit in the hot springs. Oh, yeah. You know those guys. Oh yeah, that yeah, yeah. Makes no, me I laugh. like them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't, they don't, um, they don't really make me. I mean, James Acaster just has to look at you funny, and he just makes me laugh. He's a very funny. Yeah, he's funnier he's than a monkey that. in a spring. Yes. Well, I mean, comedy's subjective. You know, that's the <laughs> tricky thing, isn't it? <laughs> James Acaster in a hot spring with snow monkeys. That is oh, now that now you're talking. Yeah, now, now we got it. Now, now we've got it. Um, who uh, are your favourite comedians? We all, I get asked this question all the time. I who you are do. you watching? Who are your favourite comedians? And I never have like one in the chamber ready to fire out. Who do you Who do you like? Uh, I, it's got to be Ricky Gervais, the king of. Uh, really? Did you see his new special? I loved it. Really? Yeah. Good on him. Good on him. <laughs> Oh, I thought right. I thought he was very funny. Uh, like you mentioned, James A. Caster just makes me laugh because he's just got funny bones. He's just very funny. Um, and I, just, I like uh, Ricky, uh, uh, Jimmy Carr, Alan Carr. Oh, yep. All the cars. Yep. All the cars. Yeah. Just the car family. Just the car family. I think they're hilarious. Um, so yeah, now I, I, I've sort of, I like people who make me make me think a bit. Obviously, you've done that. You've challenged me this morning. Um, oh, I, that's why I'm here. <laughs> so listen, tell me about put you on the spot. <laughs> tell me about uh, when you start at the Fringe and what time your show is. My show is at nine fifteen every single night except for Monday, the fifteenth of August. I open on August the third, which is my birthday, Peter. Oh, and I go birthday. all the way. Hang on, I go all the way through <laughs> until the twenty uh, eighth, I believe, and then I'm doing a UK tour right off the bat. Going all over the place. Wow. Well, I'm going to keep an eye for it. If you if you happen to be anywhere near London and you fancy coming into the studio, uh, oh my god, we, let's do that. I'm let's doing do a run it. at the Soho Theatre in uh, October, so I'll be there for that. You're and coming in, in here. Like yeah. Then Nottingham can... and Birmingham and Manchester and all sorts of places. Oh, brilliant. Well, listen, Randy, you are welcome in my studio. Um, I've got a bit of a crush on you now. so uh, oh, great. Right, I'm what, into this. Let's yeah. do it. Let's I'll do it. There. When you were doing yep. Soho, come into the studio and uh, we can actually meet. How about that? Great. What time do you go on the air? What's, Midnight what's the till four. So you're okay, great. any time. Okay. I love Either it. Either the beginning or the end. That's my <laughs> bedtime and my wake up time. Somewhere at the start. Of Somewhere the else. Uh, Randy, um, you're wonderful. Thank you. And you've given us a right laugh today and we needed it. Uh, Randy Feltface, thank you for joining us this morning. What a lovely guy. <laughs>